Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is how to find Spotify playlists and their curators. I realize that I always talk about how important they can be to your marketing campaigns and for finding actual fans of your songs, but I never told you guys how to go out and find some. And when I talk about these playlists, I'm not talking about anything like a rap caviar or most necessary, but I'm talking about a third party playlist, which are playlists that are usually ran by people who just have one for whatever reason, but they're not associated or tied with Spotify in any official way. With that being said, what I wanna do is give you guys four easy tips on how you can go about finding these playlists and their curators. Tip number one, learn how to actually use Spotify itself. Now I know guys, this sounds like such a no-brainer tip, but trust me, I've met a lot of people who don't even know how to use Spotify itself. With that being said, you should take the time out to actually learn how to navigate the platform, learn how to find things like your saved playlist or the bio section of a playlist, learn how the landing page of Spotify looks and how to find things even as simple as a search bar. Figuring all of this out and knowing how to actually use it from a consumer standpoint will help you in the long run in finding your Spotify playlist and make these other tips just move along that much easier for you. Tip number two, learn how to use the search bar. Now I know guys, it sounds like another dud tip, but trust me, the simplest methods are always the easiest to overlook. You can use the search bar to narrow down playlists by things like genre, mood, and even artists. The trick is to use keywords and search by playlists that way. I found dozens of playlists typing in things like sad rap or workout music, or by typing in specific artist names and finding playlists that have been built around these artists by fans themselves. Once you find these playlists, just navigate over to their bio section, find some type of email or contact name or any other contact information and go and find these guys. Tip number three, use social media to find these playlisters. Now, honestly, I've probably found about 90% of my playlist network just by looking for these playlists on places like Instagram, Twitter, and all these other social media platforms. Honestly, a lot of these playlists are connected to people who are trying to start either marketing marketing companies or whole entire brands based around their playlists. Because of this, they usually have a social media handle or two attached to the brand name of the playlist. Another social media tool that is very powerful for finding Spotify playlist curators is Facebook. A little unknown fact is back in Spotify's early history, users were required to connect their Facebook profiles to their Spotify profiles just to be able to use the platform itself. Because of this, a lot of these playlists are connected to people's real names and you're able to go into Facebook, just type in a person's name and kind of profile picture match up to people that you see. As a matter of fact, I wanna show you guys how you can do this. All right guys, so here we are inside of Spotify. Right now I'm using the desktop version. You can use the mobile version as well to do this. I just prefer using the desktop version of the platform because I think it moves more quickly and more smoothly. So what you'll wanna do is navigate here to the search bar and you'll want to try to find a playlist that's associated with some type of keyword or something that fits into your demographic. So for this example, let's say that you're a rapper, you know, you're kind of a rapper's rapper, your demographic really likes bars and stuff like that. You may want to look for more traditional style hip hop playlists. So you will come up to the search bar, type in hip hop and navigate down to playlists. Now what this will do is bring up every single playlist inside of Spotify that's associated with the keyword hip hop. So as you can see, you have a lo-fi hip hop playlist, you have rap caviar, hip hop central, things like that. Now, what we're looking for is one that has someone's real name attached to it so that we can find them in Facebook. A quick little tip, you wanna stay away from any playlist that has Spotify right underneath it as these are official Spotify playlists and you're not getting to those unless you know someone in the building or your numbers start to do really well. You also want to stay away from any playlist that says something like Dixter or Topsify or Filter as these are playlists that are owned by major labels and unless you're signed to that label you're not getting into these playlists as well. So as you can see one right here, Hip Hop Made Me is a playlist that's made by Filter. Here's one right here called Summer 2018 Hip Hop R&B. It's owned by a guy named Mark Augsburger. So that's a pretty good one for the example. So what you'll want to do is just click it. The first thing that you'll want to do is navigate to the bio up here and make sure they don't already have some type of email or something that they would prefer for you to hit them up with. Um, as you can see in his bio, he has find me on Facebook and Instagram. So this guy's open to being hit up on Instagram or Facebook and being contacted. Now let's say that he didn't have Instagram for the sake of this uh, tutorial. What we want to do is make sure that he has some type of profile picture or something that we can use to find him. And boom, there he is right there, guys. There's Mark. 
Um, you can also see the other things that he's been listening to, like Wiz Khalifa and Drake and Cap G. This can help in your pitch as you can hit Mark up and be like, hey, I see that you like this artist and this artist. I think that I'm similar, and this is why I should be in your playlist. Now, the next thing that you'll want to do is navigate over to Facebook. And once you're there, all that you'll need to do is type in their name into a Facebook search bar and start to figure out which profile belongs to the curator. So as you can see here, this is the same profile picture as the one that he has on his Spotify playlist or his Spotify profile. So this is our guy right here. From that point, all you want to do is hit them up, send them a message and say something along the lines of, hey, I find your playlist on Spotify. I would like to submit my music. I think that I fit because of X, Y, and Z. Send them the message, wait for them to get back to you and just get the ball rolling from there. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you would go about finding a playlist curator on Facebook. Use to find the ones that have their real names associated with their playlist. Like I said, just find these guys, reach out to them. They're usually pretty open to getting submissions and just shoot your shot from there. So as you can see, Facebook can be a very powerful social media platform for you to find these curators. Just hit them up, send them a very nice message and get them to check your songs out and just get the ball rolling from there. And tip number four is to find online communities where these playlisters like to hang out. And there are actual pockets of the internet where playlist curators come together to share tips with each other on how they're growing their playlists as well as how they're branding their playlists outside of just Spotify. What you want to do is go into these communities and infiltrate them and become cool with the playlisters. Now honestly, a lot of these guys will have smaller playlists but you never want to ignore the little guy anyway. 10, 100 follower playlist is still a thousand people at the end of the day. As far as outside resources goes, Reddit and Facebook are two of the best places to find some of these communities outside of Spotify itself, but Spotify also has its own playlist community called the Playlist Exchange. So like I said, just go into these different communities, interact with these playlists, just start to build with them from the ground up, figure out how you can incorporate them into your playlist and strategies, and just go from there. So as always, guys, just to give you all a little recap, tip number one, learn how to use Spotify itself. I know it sounds like such a dud tip, but trust me, guys, once you get this basic down, you'll be able to perform the other tips just as smoothly. Tip Tip number two, learn how to keyword search using the search bar. Like I said, you can just type in terms that make sense to you and your demographic. Things like sad rap or chill music or stuff like that will help you to find playlists that are in Spotify based on these tag words. You can also find playlists by typing in certain artists as fans often go in and build playlists that are centered around their favorite artists and they're usually taking submissions for new music as well. Tip number three, use social media sites to find these playlists. Like I said, most of these guys are trying to start marketing companies or some type of brand that are centered around the playlist itself. Because of this, you can usually find a social media handle or two for these playlists. If not, you can use networks like Facebook to go in and actually find these actual curators who have their names associated with their playlist and hit these guys up that way. Tip number four, find online communities where playlists like to hang out. These places are usually housed on threads like Reddit, Facebook groups, and Spotify's own playlist exchange. Just go into these communities, kind of infiltrate it, get cool with these playlists, and start to build with them from the ground up. And as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well, as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. With that being said, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.